Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am doing a video showcasing my Oracle card collection. And in this video, we're going to start with my floral themed decks. So the first deck I'm gonna show you is the Language of Flowers cards by Sherilyn Darcy. Comes in this cute little magnetized case. The cards are really thick. They all have the same backs on them. And they feature flowers and a quick little message here. Cactus flower, bluebell, seas, camellia, sunflower, orange blossom, etc., etc. It's a cute little deck, easy to hold, comes in a nice case. That is The Language of Flowers Cards by Sherilyn Darcy. Another flower deck that I love is Botanical Inspirations Cards by Lynn Araujo. Comes in this cute box. This comes with a little booklet as well as a fold out kind of cheat sheet. I love the feel of this deck and the box. It's smooth not too shiny. This is a nice size deck. You can hold it right in the palm of your hand easily. And you have the flowers and a quick little quote below it on each card. And you can refer to the booklet for the meaning or the cheat sheet. But I just love the imagery. It's like it's got a vintage feel to it with the font that's chosen and the image. There's my favorite flower, Iris. And the antique white background of each card. And I've learned a lot about flowers by owning this deck and reading the booklet. And that is Botanical Inspirations Cards by Lynn Araujo. The stack is called Flower Therapy Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue and Robert Reeves. Comes in the hard box, comes with the booklet, typical of Hay House. The cards are gilded with gold. The backs look like this. And each image is a photograph of that flower. Gives you the name, the title, the main message on each card so you don't have to always refer to the booklet, which I love. Beautiful photographs. It's also another learning tool to learn about flowers, what they look like, the meanings behind them, etc. Beautiful, bright imagery, easy to hold, easy to shuffle. That is Flower Therapy Oracle Cards. Another great floral themed deck that I own is Magic of Flowers Oracle by Tess Whitehurst, art by Anne Wertheim, or Wertheim. So it comes in this great box, typical of Llewellyn, with a thick book to go with it. <clears throat> and you are learning about the flowers, the meanings behind them, and there are spaces to jot down your own thoughts about the cards. Beautiful booklet. Cards are kind of standard Llewellyn size. Let's move this to the side here. That's the backs. Beautiful imagery. And just the name of the flower on each card, so you do have to refer to the booklet. But it's just, it's a gorgeous deck, and you are learning a little bit about the flowers and their meanings. That's one of my favorites, Pansy, Datura. Beautiful deck. This size, the Llewellyn standard size, very easy to shuffle, easy to fan out, etc. 
and that is The Magic of Flowers Oracle by Tess Whitehurst. So we're moving on to earth-based or earth-themed decks, and the first one I want to show you is Earth Magic Oracle Cards by Stephen D. Farmer. Comes with a typical booklet, typical of Hay House, hard box, standard Hay House size cards. I think it's 82 by 120 or 126, something like that, centimeters. Here's the backs, no gilding, but just very simple imagery simple phrases on the cards so you don't have to refer to the booklet. This is another go-to deck. If I would just want to know what to focus on that day or that week, I just pull a card, very easy to understand what it means. Of course, the booklet provides a little bit of additional information. And that is Earth Magic Oracle Cards. If you follow me on Facebook or you know me in person, you know I'm a great fan of Josephine Wall and her artwork. This deck is one of my favorites. It's called Nature's Whispers Oracle Cards by Angela Hartfield. Artwork by Josephine Wall. Comes with a booklet that gives you meanings for each card. Additional meanings I'll add. And the cards are matte. A little bit large, but not too large. You can shuffle them <clears throat> easily this way. And here are some of the cards, which are, each one is gorgeous, each one is a work of art. Don't know why that's upside down. That's actually one of my favorites, this imagery. And you're getting a message on each card, so you don't really have to go to the booklet. It's another great deck for a daily one card pull. Josephine Wall is still creating art, and there are other decks that she has illustrated. Beautiful. That's one of my favorites. Beautiful deck. Great messages. That is Nature's Whispers Oracle Cards. Another gorgeous deck I own is Sacred Earth Oracle by Tony Carmine Salerno and Leela J. Williams. Artwork by Helena Nelson Reed. Blue Angel Publishing comes with a book that gives you in-depth meanings, earthly meaning, spiritual meaning, and insight per each card. Cards are matte. Here are the backs, just a lovely earthy green tone. I love that. And here are the images. Just gorgeous, beautiful colors. This is one of my favorites. They're all just beautiful. This is a great deck to use if you're wanting to tune in to that spiritual earth energy, that connection with earth energy. Can't go through all of them even though I want to, but they're beautiful as you can see. Look at that one. Love all the greens. And that is Sacred Earth Oracle. So now we're getting into the area of animals. And the first deck here is my butterfly deck, Butterfly Oracle Cards for Life Changes by Doreen Virtue. I don't know if it's still in print, might not be. Comes with a standard Hay House booklet. Standard Hay House size 
just a simple blue butterfly on the back. It's gilded in gold. And each card features a photograph of a butterfly and a one word message. Retirement, you are stronger than you know. Heavenly signs, spiritual growth, new career. Great to add to tarot readings or other oracle card readings. It's also great as a one card pull for the day. Beautiful, if you love butterflies, this is a must have and it is Butterfly Oracle Cards for Life Changes by Doreen Virtue. Another great deck that I picked up recently is Whispers of the Ocean Oracle Cards by Angela Hartfield. Artwork by Ekaterina Golavanova. Comes with a book, talks about each image and the meaning behind each image. The backs are a lovely blue with the sea turtles and the cards are gorgeous. Got some seahorses here. It's all about sea life and sea creatures with different messages. So if you are into water and the sea and fish and sea life, then this is a must have. The imagery itself is just worth it. Just gorgeous. I love this one. And that is Whispers of the Ocean Oracle Card. An older deck that I've had for quite a while is Animal Spirits Knowledge Cards, paintings by Susan Seddon Boulay. And these have the imagery on the backs of the different animals and a paragraph or two about that animal on the back, as well as symbology. Beautiful imagery. And I love the meanings as well. I don't know if these are available anymore. Probably not. I've had them for quite some time. But they are gorgeous and you do learn a lot about the animal symbology. take a look at this one. So this is the crow. Symbology, renewal, transformation, magic, abundance, and then it talks about legends of the crow. So it's a very informative deck. You learn about the animals. It's a nice small size. You fit it in your palm and that is Animal Spirits Knowledge Cards. A gorgeous newer deck that I own is called Animal Kin Oracle by Sarah Wilder. It comes with the booklet, gives you more of an in-depth meaning of each card. Here are the backs, and here are the cards, and they are all different colors, which you know I love. I'm all about the color, the variety here. We have peahen, we have snake, cat, white tiger, beetle, moth, kookaburra, wolf, pretty much most animals, you would, even the phoenix, you would think of that you would want to find in an oracle card deck, you will find it in this gorgeous deck. Look at Chameleon, I love the purples. It's just a beautiful deck. There's no doubt about it that this is one of the prettiest decks that I own. If you love animals, this would definitely be a great addition to your collection. And that is Animal Kin Oracle. 
Another deck that I love is Messages from Your Animal Spirit Guides, Oracle Cards by Stephen D. Farmer and illustrated by B. Sturgis. This has got a really cool texture to it. It's like lined, slightly lined with a matte finish. There's the backs and here are the images. And again, you don't have to go to the booklet if you don't want to. It gives you a little bit about the animal and the animal's message to you. Zebra, let go of your fear and know that you are safe and protected at all times is your message from the zebra, etc., etc. Very soft, subdued artwork. Feels really earthy with the lines on the cards, very faint lines, faint texture to these cards. They're really pleasant to hold and pleasant to use. And that is Messages from Your Animal Spirit Guides Oracle Cards. So we had the Spirit Animal or Spirit Guide Cards. We have the Power Animal Oracle Cards, also by Stephen D. Farmer. These are glossy, come with a booklet, standard Hay House booklet and also have keywords and a little bit of a meaning on each card affiliated with that card and that animal. Squirrel, preparation, get ready for big changes. This is a really great deck. If you wanna pull a quick card for the day, if you are a lover of animals, I would say this is also a must have deck. Whale Soul's Path, honor your soul's purpose. I love just the simplicity of the messages. Hummingbird Joy, lighten up. The imagery is really beautiful as well. And that is the Power Animal Oracle Cards deck. And lastly, but definitely not least, we have the Wild Unknown Spirit Animal deck and guidebook by Kim Kranz, like a holographic sleeve on top of this case. Open it up. There's a big beautiful book in here which gives you in-depth meanings of the cards and it's a really fun read. It's a really informative read. There are some spreads you can do here and I just love it. It's great. The deck is beautiful. Comes in this box inside the bigger box with a ribbon. And here are the cards, very simple backs. Looks like a snakeskin type of pattern, which is just kind of a pale silvery gray. And here are the images. Some are upside down, but that's because I do reversals with this deck because it does matter. Zebra just really gorgeous. She's got a very cool, unique way of drawing and creating things, I feel. This is a fun deck and the booklet, the book is great. It's a great size. Oops, easy to shuffle. easy to use. You just pull a card, open the book, and that is your message, etc. And that is the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit Deck and Guidebook.